trapped in their final excruciating moments. Each of these casts tells a story of the final seconds of the individuals who lived here. But there's one cast in particular that never fails to break my heart every time I see it. This young child is incredibly moving because he's a symbol of the truth of the appalling tragedy that happened here and of the lives that were interrupted. And that's why he deserves to be respected and cherished as our number one. The child was found in one of Pompeii's grandest villas, next to a man and a woman holding another small infant, most likely his family. Dr. Laurence Alapont has studied the toddler of Pompeii in detail, and I hope he can shed some light on this little boy's short life. So you've actually done a scan or an X-ray of the toddler? Yeah, and uh, we find uh, a lot of information from this, uh, because we can see all the bones inside of this cast. Really? When uh, you are young, all the bodies are not completely fused. We can see very well that the, the fibula is not fused. Mm. So when we find this, we can know the age. This is corresponding with uh, four or five years old. Gosh, but he's a young child, really. Yeah, he's a very young child. But the X-rays also reveal clues about the boy's life. The quality of his teeth and bones shows he had a good diet. He'd probably grown up in the luxurious villa where he was found, cowering under the staircase. And amazingly, it's possible to see clues on this little boy's body that show just how much his parents cared about him. And what's that? Because I can see something on his neck. I don't know if you can see this. He's got um. There's definitely something solid there. Do you know what that is? Uh, this is uh, probably the bulla. The bulla is the pendant mm. that the parents uh, put the, in the neck of the child. A bulla was a locket given to Roman boys when they were nine days old to protect them from evil spirits and other dangers. But isn't that tragic that he's got, he's got his little protecting symbol, but of course it hasn't worked? But the story of this little boy doesn't end here. Scientists now believe he can shed light on exactly how the people of Pompeii died in the eruption. The crucial clue lies in the similar contorted positions of his and his family's bodies. They all have their arms raised like a boxer. And this boxer pose is seen in hundreds of other victims in Pompeii. Evidence suggests that most people, including the toddler, survived the first day of the disaster. But then the eruption suddenly changed, unleashing a deadly new force that contorted its victims into the boxer pose. <laughs> 